Welcome to the Lowdown on Physics. This is episode number two in a series of screencasts designed to take you through the electronics and photonics section of the Unit 3 VCE Physics course. Today we're going to have a look at voltage dividers and explain what a voltage divider is, where they're used and how you can use them to solve some of the problems that you will face in your exam. So, the voltage divider. Firstly, what is the voltage divider? It's the basis of virtually all input sensing uh, units that are used in control electronics. Um, basically, the two components share or you know, divide, hence the name, the supply voltage between themselves. And in doing so, they establish a voltage signal which will be used to switch an appliance on or off. So we're looking at a couple of resistors in series and the appliance attached in parallel to one of your resistors. Okay, a couple of important things that we just need to recall when we're talking about resistors that are placed in series. Firstly, the sum of the voltages across each resistor must add to the supply voltage. That is, all of the resistors share the voltage that is supplied from your power supply. Uh, the second thing is that the voltage is sh shared in proportion to the resistance of each component. Now what do we mean by that? The greater the resistance, the greater the proportion of the voltage. So if you have a 6 ohm resistor and a 3 ohm resistor, the 6 ohm resistor would get twice as much voltage. Uh, and so if we want to put that into an equation, we would put it as, as a ratio, where V equals IR, the I's will cancel out, so V1 over V2 would be equal to R1 over R2. So direct relationship between the size of the resistances. So let's look at a simple voltage divider. We supply an input voltage through two resistors and we measure the voltage out across one of the resistors. We've got zero volts down here indicating all of that voltage has been consumed. Now, V in, that is the sum of the voltage or the total voltage is equivalent to the current traveling through the sum of the resistors or I times R total, total, total resistance. V out, that is the voltage across R2 is simply equal to the current through times that resistance. So if we take that ratio of V out over V in, then we get I R2 from the equation above over I sum of R1 plus R2. Again, the I's can cancel out. So we get the what we call the voltage divider equation. So V out over V in equals R2 over R1 plus R2. What's important to note here is that V out always corresponds to the resistance that is placed on top. So if we wanted to work out what the voltage was over R1, then we need to have R1 on top. And that will be our V out would then be measured across the top. Now we can extend that. It doesn't have to be just two resistors that are in parallel uh, in series. We can do that for M, N, however many resistors you want to place there. You want to put 100 resistors in. The equation still works. It's the sum of, sum of all the resistors that V in is split out, and V out will be for that single resistance which is then placed on top. So let's work through an example. In this example, uh, the goal is to find the V out or the voltage across the 3 kilo ohm resistor. So R2, which is 3 kilo ohms. The information we're given is the total system is 10 kilo ohms. We have R1 equal to 2, R2 equal to 3, R3 equal to 5 kilo ohms. V in equals 15 volts. So first thing I always do is draw a diagram. If I'm not given one, draw a diagram, put the information on it. We've got 15 volts in, zero out, all of it's consumed across the resistors. We've got a 2, a 3, and a 5 kilo ohm resistor. Now do I need to worry about the fact that I'm in kilo ohms? 
Uh, in this equation, the answer is no. Because it is a ratio thing, as long as my units are consistent, it doesn't matter whether I'm in ohms or whether I'm in kilo ohms. I just need to be consistent. So using my voltage divider equation. So the voltage across the 3 kilo ohm resistor divided by the total V in equals R 3 kilo ohm over the total of the resistors. So rearranging, I'm going to multiply both sides by 15. We find that V across the 3 ohm resistor, 3 kilo ohm resistor, is 15 times the 3 over the 10, which gives us 4.5 volts in total. Now what happens if I put a variable resistor in? Basically, that means that I am able to adjust the variable resistor and that gives me control over what V out is. It allows me to determine when V out can be used to switch an appliance on or off. So this is simply like the temperature control on an oven or temperature control on an air conditioner or a, uh, an electric heater. So what are the effects of going to either extreme in our variable resistor? So say if we wound the variable resistor down to zero resistance, then V out is going to equal V in. There'll be no voltage across R1. What happens if I go to the other extreme? And let's say I made R1 about nine times that of R2. Using our voltage divider equation, we've multiplied it over by V in. We get R2 over R1 plus R2. Now R1 is equivalent to nine times that of R2 plus R2. So that makes it R2 over 10 R2. We're going to cancel out all of our R2s. And we find out that it is about one-tenth that of V in, which makes sense. This is nine times the resistance. It should get nine times the voltage. So that would be in total 10 lots of voltage, ninth, nine tenths here, and one tenth down here, which is what we've just mathematically proven.